Hello everybody! Now I'm going to teach you how to write the explicit formula given a geometric sequence. All right, as you can see right here, this is the explicit formula. A sub 1 represents your first term. R is your common ratio. All right, and of course, n minus 1 as the exponent will remain as n minus 1. Looking at this first example, 2, 10, 50, and 250. First thing I want to find is my common ratio. Again, you take the second term and divide it by the first term. So when I do 10 divided by 2, I will get 5. So therefore, my common ratio is 5. Now, I'm going to plug everything in to my explicit formula. So it says a, a sub n equals my first term, which is 2, times my common ratio, which is 5, to the power of n minus 1. And that's it. All right, let's look at some other examples. We have 4, 12, 36, 108. First thing I want to find is my common ratio. Take your second term and divide it by your first term. So when I do 12 divided by 4, I get 3. That's my common ratio. Now to write my explicit formula, I'm going to write the first term, which is 4, times my common ratio, which is 3, to the power of n minus 1. And that's it. That's my explicit formula. Now, whenever they ask you to find something like a sub 7, that just simply means you plug in 7 wherever you see n. So take your explicit formula, and instead of writing n minus 1, you're now going to write 7 minus 1. And when you type all of that in the calculator, you get 2,916. That means if I kept going in my sequence, that will be my seventh term. Let's try another example. All right, to find my common ratio, I'm going to take that second term and divide it by the first term. So 36 divided by 72 reduces down to 1 half. That's my common ratio. So therefore, my explicit form will be a sub 1, which is 72, times 1 half to the power of n minus 1. Now, what if they ask to find the 11th term? What does that mean? Yep, you're right. Plug in 11 everywhere you see n. So it will be 72 times 1 half to the power of 11 minus 1. When I put all of that in the calculator, and just a reminder, in case you forget how to type in a fraction, you press alpha y equals enter. When I type all that in the calculator, I get 9 over 128. And to change that to a decimal, I simply just type in 9 divided by 128, and it gives me 0 0.07. And there's a zero after it, doesn't round it up, so you just leave it as 0.07. That's it.